Hi everyone, Alison Day here, and I thought I would do a little video about misting. Um, these are some of my mists right here. Yeah, I have a little addiction. Um, in fact, it's not all of them, but those are just the ones I use uh, most frequently. And um, this right here is um, a giant box, obviously, um, but it's also where I do a lot of my misting. As you can see, I lay my project inside it and then I can spray and the mist doesn't get all over my surface. So let me just plug my camera in to my stand and then I will show you um, a couple of misting techniques. Okay, so as you can see, I have a tag in there and um, I've just laid it on a piece of white eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And to be honest, I, I don't really have a, a project that I'm working on, I just this is purely to show you a couple of, of different techniques. So um, this will work with any kind of stencil. Uh, I've used a tag that has a, a heart cut out and then there's um, the word U in there. And I will show you, let's see, let's pick a nice color here. And I'm gonna use this very dirty bottle of Mr. Huey, it's the heirloom blue. Um, and I'm just gonna give it a shake. And the higher up you spray, the wider the disbursement. So you'll get sort of a, an all over pattern. Okay. And now just very carefully lift it up. And there you see the heart image. You can also see I got the hole from the tag. And I'm just actually gonna use tweezers if I can find them. And they've gone walkabout so I'll very carefully pick this up. So there's some bleeding that's gonna happen um, if things aren't um, glued down really well but that's okay I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, if it's really a problem I mean this is white cardstock so I could take a white pen and just fill that in but I'm not gonna worry about it. So this I just wanted to give you an idea um, this gives you the all-over look that, that looks really nice. Now, if you wanted um, more big droplets, I'll show you that as well. Let me just get a new piece of paper. So it's just a scrap of paper, and I'm gonna use the same mist, but this time I'm gonna unscrew the top, and I'm gonna just create splatters. And I'm just tapping the 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 lid to create the splatters. Now I generally like to get quite close to my project, so I'm a little bit far away, which is um, a little bit awkward for me. But I like to get quite close to my project so that I can get the splatters exactly where I want them. And then if you want a bigger drop, you can touch it to the paper; it'll give you a bigger drop. Or very simply, take a paintbrush, there you see it now, and dip it in your bottle, get it nice and juicy and wet, and then just drop. And you get nice big splatters. So these are great just to add texture to your to um, your background paper. Um, you can put, you know, pictures and other papers and, and whatnot on top of this, which I quite do, uh, often do. If they're taking too long to dry, you can just take a paper towel, or this is um, a baby wipe that's dry, and just sort of dab them. They dry quite quickly, actually, so a lot of these are already dry. One thing I will caution you, if you're going to add pictures straight on top, make sure your ink is dry, otherwise it could bleed right through the photo paper. One other thing that I wanted to share with you is um, painting with your mist. Now I've done this, I did this on the, uh, the fun layout that was on my blog a few days ago. And I literally, I just took my paintbrush, dipped it in my mist, and then I just brushed it along the edge of the paper. And you can get as much on there as you want, or as little, you can make it as big as you want you know, as, as messy, as distressed, or as clean as you want. Also, if 
I, I've seen this done wonderfully and I'll try and link up um, in in this post the video um, but you can paint with it paint shapes oops try to keep your paper still that works out better and you just keep adding more to make it darker don't worry about it being beautiful and neat unless that's the the style you're going for there are lots of different things you can do with mist um, I do recommend having some sort of spray shield or box or something um, but if you don't have it that, that's fine you can just um, go quite close if you want a big splotch like that okay 